Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, we gained all the information needed on the third victim of the Midnight Channel, also known as Risei Kujikawa. In the last one, we also caught what would be a pop star stalker. Due to the fact that we had Adachi with us, we were able to actually catch some guy that more than likely isn't the Midnight Murderer, but he is a person that literally stalks the pop stars and tries to get some really weird pictures to sell on the internet. But it's, that was actually pretty good. But other than that, we also gained um, all the information needed in order to actually get into the dungeon, also known as Maraku Street Tease, which is... One of the most suggestive dungeons I've seen in the Persona game so far, from 4, 5, and Strikers. But honestly, I think we're going to have a good time with this. So with that, let's get into the third dungeon of the game, and I believe we are ready. I did a little bit of training due to the fact that you can actually go to other dungeons before you actually head into the main dungeon. Which is actually kind of cool. All you have to do is you just talk to one of your friends and they say some information and then you can actually go to the other areas like where Saki Kanishi's um, little uh, liquor store was when you first got um, Aizanagi and you also got Yosuke as an ally. Or you can talk to Kanji to go to the bathhouse or you can talk to Yukiko or Chie to go to Yukiko's palace which is pretty cool. So with that I believe we are ready. Um, did you find out more about this girl, Reese chan Um, hmm, her real self. I see, she's just like me, the delicate, sentimental type. Then, hmm, what? There's something out there? Is this it? Did I find her? Um, follow me. Okay, let's follow, um, Teddy to where our next location is. So, the thing is, is due to the fact that the starting day for the dungeon is during a rainy day, there's actually one stipulation to this dungeon now. Due to the fact that this dungeon is now a rainy dungeon, there's going to be special enemies that appear only on rainy days, and they're actually stronger than the normal enemies that you would normally run into. So yeah, we got that to deal with too as well. Just mentioning that now, since um, I think I should have mentioned that a long time ago. It's just that uh, we haven't ran into a rainy day dungeon yet, so this is like the first time we're actually running into it. So, I feel like it's probably the best time to bring it up. Um, what is this place? It's all dark. Yeah, it is. But, here it is, all lit up and ready for us to actually get into. And, as we said, it is very suggestive. So, yeah, um, welcome to what would be a, um, <laughs> a strip club, basically. Um, whoa, is this a... Yep, that's what it is. Oh, like the kind you always find in resort towns. Um, I think you're right. But, but we don't have one. Our inn's not like that. Uh, uh, so this is a strip joint, eh? Yep, it is. Um, strip? Um, <laughs> I know what that is. It's the thing zebras have, right? No, that's a stripe. <laughs> um, strip like a zebra, right? Right. No. Far from it, buddy. Um, it's so bright here. Even with the glasses on, my eyes hurt. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of bright, isn't it? Um, doesn't anyone get the joke? Um, okay, let's try one more time. Strip, it's like something zebras have. No, not at all. Um, can anyone shut this thing up? <laughs> yeah, please. Um, huh? Zebra? Um, sorry, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, I won't say it again, so let's hurry on. Yeah, let's get on out of here. <laughs> Sorry, Teddy, but those kind of jokes really don't work here. You have pinpointed Risei's location. All that's left is to rescue her. You should prepare well to make sure the rescue operation goes smoothly. And with that, we're officially in the third dungeon of the game. Um, it's alright. Um, it doesn't seem to have the fog... It doesn't seem like the fog will clear. Um, proof? Proof is my good old news. It hasn't been so good lately, but that's besides the point. <laughs> okay, and with that, um, we won't be bringing Kanji in due to the fact that he has no social link points. So I feel like um, we won't be able to use him until like the next dungeon, because for some reason I didn't get a single point in him before this dungeon even started, which was kind of weird. But with that, let's do this. Um, good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Teddy. So here we go, the 11th floor dungeon, also known as Maraku Striptease. Really, really odd name, and probably going to be the most, um, 
embarrassing of episodes due to the fact that it what the theme is for me. But you know what? We'll do fine, I think. Um, this smell, this atmosphere, it's making my heart pound. <laughs> if you say so, buddy. Okay, so we can either go right or we can go left here. And I also found something pretty interesting. So the smaller the shadow, the um, weaker the shadow is actually going to be, which is actually kind of cool. Okay, so due to the fact that we actually are using a persona with multiple um, like hitting moves, we can actually find out these weaknesses pretty easy now. So I'm going to try Mabufu first, just because we don't have many um, users that actually have the ability to cast Ice Magic, so it's easier to figure out some of the stuff. Okay, and since these guys are basically down for the count, let's just kick the rest of them since there's no point in using a spell on an enemy that's basically already down. And GG, first fight done. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, the smaller the shadow, the weaker they're going to be. So the bigger the shadow, the stronger they're going to be, and vice versa. So actually, it's pretty cool. And we're going the wrong way, so we gotta turn this way instead. Okay. But yeah, as, as what I'm gonna try and do, we're gonna just try and do what we did in the last one, where we just can continue to go through the dungeon. And if I end up going the wrong way a couple times, then it's perfectly fine, and we'll probably just cut out a couple of fights, just to make sure that we get through the dungeon in a less amount of time than two hours, because yeah, the last video file was two hours long, and I had to cut it down quite a bit in order to make it work. I ended up throwing in um, a couple of the conversations from that episode into the previous episode of that, uh, uh, or into the previous episode of the series. So yeah, that's basically how that ended up going. Um, here's our chance. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And also, that's a scary looking shadow, if I'm gonna be honest. So the shadow is completely invisible until you actually knock it down, but if you smack it once or twice, you actually see its real form. That's actually pretty creepy. Okay, so let's see here. We can grab an Ar new Arcana, and it ended up swapping the one we already had. Um, I'll grab the free agility. There's no problem in grabbing free stats. The card of the Chariot Arcana, High Pixie's agility, is increased by one. And nothing really when it comes to experience or money, but anyways, we got some pretty good stuff out of it. And also, I found out by going to the other dungeons, is that you can actually fight, like, secondary bosses, which are, like, optional. But they give you courage for beating them, and, like, new items that you don't have originally. So I ended up getting some items that end up um, giving me more um, S um, SP during dungeons and stuff, which is kind of cool. So, I think it was... Let's see here. It was um, Yosuke that got one. I can show it right now just to show it. So I ended up um, getting this one from Saki's place, which is basically 40 SP and 83 attack, which is kind of cool. And then I got this one from Yukiko's dungeon, which gives me 50 SP, which is pretty cool. And then this iron plate from uh, Kanji's bathhouse, which gives you two magic. And it's actually not bad whatsoever, but I thought I should mention it because those are um, weapons that you only get from doing those. Which is kind of cool. But yeah, it definitely is like nice to have like information like that because I ended up skipping those dungeons for like the longest time and then I ended up feeling like I should probably do them recently. Well, before we even thought about going into this dungeon, which was kind of cool. And good thing I did that because I ended up learning some new stuff. Um, now's your chance. You ready? Yeah, I am. So let's do this. Okay, all out attack knock out these guys. I actually am surprised that those things were actually weak to electricity. I just went with it and it ended up being the case. Cool, cool. Okay, so we can either grab half money to get a full, um, I think this would actually be good because we can get the SP uh, regain for the full party, but we lose money out of it, but we end up getting an Andros and we also get some recovery, which is pretty nice. Rank 3 cup card for some HP and SP back, and then we also get an Andra, which is kind of good, but I don't know if I'm going to be end up using it. But yeah, the, definitely there is some things that we can do, but there's things that I need to figure out still, like um, how long the dungeons are always going to be if they get bigger and bigger, or if they continuously um, get longer and longer. I'm going to try and skip past these guys, these golden guys, because there's no reason to actually fight them in an episode, because they're actually very tanky, and they actually kind of... It takes like five minutes to fight one group of them, if I'll be honest, so I'm just saving you guys the trouble when it comes to those things. Um, Sensei, are you okay? I think I'm getting a little drunk from all the pink. <laughs> if you say so, Teddy. 
Okay, so far so good. But yeah, definitely, um, one thing I've noticed with these dungeons is that if you do play it the way we've been doing it, where we just run through the dungeon and not really, like, focus on actually training, you can actually fall behind a little bit, and it makes it even harder. Well, obviously it would, but it definitely is a lot harder than it normally would be if you were to actually go to the un other dungeons in your other days or right before you actually go into the dungeon because you can make a little bit of money by going to the other dungeons and then train a little bit and then when you actually want to go into the dungeon to actually do your main dungeon you can actually use the box to full, full heal yourself before you actually go in and then you'll be like more evened out with the dungeon which is what I did and actually is helping a lot more than it did before, which is actually pretty good. Okay, so I don't think we've tried Electric, have we? No, we haven't. Okay, so let's try Mazio then. Might as well. So if it's not weak to this... Okay, cool. So we ended up finding out the weakness. Okay, the reason why is because I found out how um, Light and Curse works in this game. So Light and Curse will always be one-shot abilities. There's no normal, like, um, damage ones. So now that I know that, I can actually use that to my advantage. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this half experience one, even though I normally wouldn't get that. Just to save us some time here. So we lose a card, and there we go. Sweet bonus. Cool. I actually really like that one where you lose a card on your hand. Because you can get rid of stuff you don't actually want. Lost some experience, but we gained a chest key, and we also gained some money. Which, honestly, the money in, in the experience really doesn't matter at this point, since I feel like we're on a decent level to where this isn't going to be like the, what do you call it, the last dungeon where we had a much longer time to getting through it, because we were a lot level, uh, lower leveled. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to say, let's go left. I just want to make sure we're going, nope, <laughs> that's a treasure chest, and usually those treasure chests have nothing in them, so they're not even worth, like, running to open them. The only ones that are actually worth going for is the um, golden chests. And if you can find a golden chest with like an actual item inside it, you can actually get some pretty good stuff, to be honest. Like, um, for instance, you can actually get like really good armor and actually really good weapons out of these golden chests that you can find, and they get stronger and stronger the, the um, further dungeons are in. So, say like we run into a weapon, it's going to be like 150 attack if we can find one in a golden chest in this dungeon, which is actually really, really good. But the thing is, is we have to run into it to get it, is the thing, which is actually pretty cool. And you can also get it later on if you come up back to the dungeon later, in, like in the future, whenever you think about going into the Midnight Channel to actually just do some random quests and stuff. Um, hmm. Um, I can smell it. I smell something my nose is sniffing out some kind of clue. Hmm, a clue, you say? Okay. Well, however, if as long as the clue is good, then that would actually be good for us, but I'm guessing, uh, due to the fact that the third floor has always been, like, a halfway point in a way, I'm gonna guess that's more than likely what's about to happen. And also, something I've noticed, all these birds seem to be weak to, um, electricity. So I'm gonna see if these guys are actually... Everything on the, on the board was weak. Okay. Um, our enemy is down. We must strike. Yeah, we should. Okay, Yukiko, thank you for the help there for an all-out attack. And down goes a whole group of enemies that ended up being weak to our normal starting um, spells. Because Aizanagi was electric, so I always count um, our main character, Yu, as a character that's literally an electric user. Also, I first see an EXP on I'm gonna grab that. Okay. Honestly, here I see grabbing the Avoid Encounters and then swapping Arcana for something else. Ooh, Magic Up, I'll take that. Magic, magic Ups for the High Pixie is actually really good because it already has high magic already. So you're just increasing it and increasing it to the point where it's like really overpowered. And the Harmon, Ar Harmon Arcana means we won't get attacked and we'll, we'll, we'll be able to start any attack we end up going into. Strength Arcana for some magic and some EXP. Always nice to see. And 366 isn't that bad, even though it's like um, 10,000 get levels on certain personas after you get to a certain rank. So honestly, it does get bad at some points. Oh, we actually already found it. Um, the smell is coming from here. Open the curtain and enter. You know what? Sure, let's do it. So our first halfway point has already been reached. Don't know if we're going to find a boss, but usually when we head here, like Chie, um, when we ran into Kanji for the first time in his shadow form, and then 
obviously now it's reset here. So it seems like a thing that we get to do in every dungeon uh, will end up stopping on the third floor to actually talk to the shadow of the dungeon, which is kind of cool. Um, it's Rise. Um, but something's not right. Um, it might be your other self. It definitely is. The yellow eyes kind of tell that. Hello, all you fans out there. Thanks for coming today. And today you're gonna see every last inch of me. What's that? You don't believe me? <laughs> okay, okay. Then why don't we- Oh, but you won't be able to see it with all the smoke, huh? Okie dokie. Just follow me a little further and I'll prove that I'm every bit as good as my word. Hmm, if you say so. Maru Q's Midsummer Night Dream Special, all the way live interaction, I guess, is that what that said. Uh, we're, we like that. That's kind of going far. Yeah, it is kind of, to be honest. <laughs> and it looks like the people on the outside are <laughs> definitely, um, definitely contorted on their own rights, let's be honest. Um, sheesh, the roar of the crowd isn't seen this time. It's making me feel sick. Yeah, true. Um, if people really are watching this, we gotta do something fast. Alright, Resetters. Don't touch the dial. When we come back, you'll be get a good long look at the real me, Myra Q. <laughs> well, there she goes. Off into deeper and deeper into the dungeon. Um, we'd better move it. This is a thousand times worse than just hearing a few nasty secrets. <laughs> yeah, definitely so. It looks like we don't have to fight a boss this time round on the first one, which is good. Um, the shadows are getting really aggravated. We just saw, um, what we just saw was that Rise girl is suppressing. Um, she'll be in trouble at this rate. Um, so, cause I'm on the rescue team now. Alright, let's hurry and go. <laughs> yeah, let's definitely head in further. It would be kind of cool to be able to use your entire party in, in dungeons, to be honest. But you can only use four, and that's been a theme in all these Persona slash uh, Shin Megami games that I've noticed. It would be really cool if um you were able to use Kanji as well on top of everyone else, and then anyone else you unlock, which would be kind of cool. Okay, four enemies. We know that these guys aren't weak to anything we've used so far. So they're more than likely weak to either light or curse. Okay, good to know. So, since we have enough um, SP to just use whatever, honestly, I think we should just go Mazio here. Since, honestly, ten ex um, I don't really know what else to use, to be honest there. Okay, so far so good. We can go for a normal attack here and just one-shot one of these guys, which makes it easier for us. Okay. I'm gonna say maybe we can go for Yosuke to maybe get a critical on one of these, which ended up happening. So we ended up getting two attacks here, which is really good. Then we can just knock down the down the guy, and then we can have Yukiko here go for either of these two. Throw her fan, and we ended up getting through this without actually having to fight anything. Perfect. <laughs> ended up working perfectly for us. Shuffle time. Definitely like the shuffle times, by the way. You can get some really cool stuff. Ooh, skill up. That's really good. There's no reason not to grab these, by the way. Okay, so let's grab a get skill card. And then we can get the magic up, and then let's get the skill card up. You'll see why I say that's really good in a second. The card of the Strength Arcana gives you some magic for the High Pixie. And then we can need the Magician Arcana, which makes it so Zyonga is now Ma Zyonga, which means it's a increased version of Zyonga, which is really good. And then we also get the Sword card, which gives us Mamudo, which is a maxed version of the um, Curse... Curse variant of the um, one-shot curse variant, basically, is what I gotta say for that. Also, Maziango. Which one's that exactly? I actually am confused on which one that actually is, to be completely honest. I should probably check that out just in case. Let's see here. Where would it be? Don't see it anywhere, actually, to be honest. I guess we'll see it in the next fight. Honestly, there is. we can still do that to check it out. Okay. Let's see if the exit's this way or it's the other way since we don't have an exact idea of where it is yet. I'm gonna say it's probably where this shadow is, to be honest. Or it could lead us to a treasure chest, you never know. I'm trying to make it to the stairs and trying to kind of like skip past the treasure chest, since the idea is to go through the dungeon like normal, and then after we get to the end of the dungeon, I reload the save and then I actually go through normally and then just go for all the treasure chests, grab all the items, and then I reload from there. 
and then we actually start from the where all of our stats are perfect and we have all the items throughout the dungeon so we're not missing anything. That's honestly how I'm doing it. And ooh, medium electric damage to all foes. That's really good. Okay then, I like that. Um, I'm gonna go for Death Seeker here. Just drop him a little bit. And then we can go for maybe a Rampage here, because this attacks everybody by three, which is actually really strong. And down goes the party. Perfect. Another shuffle time. Always like to see these, by the way. Let's see here. Honestly, the only thing I see here to grab is this Recover HP one, because this gives us some SP back as well. So there's no reason not to grab it, since you get a little bit of the SP you use during the fights. And if you didn't use any SP, you just get free stuff, basically, which is actually really nice. Okay, and this was one of these. And I see a golden chest, but the thing is, is we really can't get to it without fighting that shadow. And the reason why I'm trying to avoid shadow fights is because it can add some unnecessary length to the video. So I'm trying to make it easier on you guys so you guys can have, like, a normal length video without me, like, trying to make my way entirely through the dungeon to the point where... Um, it becomes two hours long and then I have to make specific um, choices on what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. And that is a red shadow, so we go this way instead. Okay. Let's see here. The golden hand went that way, so I'm going to say it's probably left is where we have to go. You never know. If we keep checking, we'll find it. Okay, so where the golden hand is is where we have to go. Okay, cool. Easy easy kind of like guessing game. As long as you like can see a little bit in front of you, you can kind of guess where you need to go. And the golden hand just ran into the exit for the room, which is kind of funny. I wasn't actually sure if those things actually leave the dungeon or not. So now I know that if they run off, I can catch them later, as long as I can catch them. Um, as long as I don't fight something before going to where it went. So that's actually good to know. You hear voices from somewhere. Um, good evening, good evening. I'm Rosette. Um, thanks for being such faithful viewers. I'm tired of diets and enough with getting to the gym. Good thing there's something that even I can handle. Um, I've had enough of this place too. I'm getting all dizzy. <laughs> it's kind of funny to hear that, um, what do you call it again? The, um, commercial for the resets. Ooh, free treasure chest. I'm just gonna grab this real quick. No reason to not get- Oh, of course there was a shadow inside. The only thing about this is that I noticed that um, Kanji's not getting any experience. So I don't know if there's going to be a point in the game where you can actually get... Wait, is that the Reaper? I think I just heard the Reaper's chains. Oh, he is actually on the floor now. So my sound's actually um, quieter for me. So if I don't notice a sound, that is more, more than the reason why. So now I know that the Reaper's actually on the field now, so... Yeah, we can't actually touch any of these chests now. That's for the golden ones. The golden ones are still touchable. You just can't grab the normal chests, because then you'll get attacked by something. And the enemy ended up getting the advantage there, even though I thought I attacked. Okay, Zyonga, I know we're not going to have to worry about. We haven't found out this thing's weakness, have we? So, we can try wind, ice, or fire. Okay, so I'm going to say it's more than likely going to be a... One of those ones that are weak to, like, um, light or curse. But I'm gonna try something, because I have a feeling that maybe we can figure it out if we use something like Ubufu or, like, um, Moragi or something. Because it might be actually weak to any of those spells. There's no reason for them not to be, because we haven't actually checked. So let's just try and see if we can figure it out. And it looks like none of those seem to be the weaknesses. So let's just go for normal attacks now, since there's no reason to waste too much SP here, since they're already basically down. So honestly, just save us some time, and something inside you has changed. Ooh, dodge fire, I'll take it. Energy plus two, and we'll plus one. And we also get dodge fire on top of that. Not bad at all. Um, I say we can get rid of Meat Parcher for now. I don't need it that much. And then dodge fire would be kind of nice to have. So yeah, definitely something I like to see. I always say he's also able to get Invigorate on the High Pixie. So that's another thing, reason why I'm actually using it, because you can actually get SP back every single fight you get into. So I get plus three um, of that every single time, which is pretty cool. Okay. Um, I see a knockdown on three of these enemies, so let's go for that. And then we'll figure out what to do with the... Ooh, wait a minute, that guy just randomly hit me with my own attack. Okay, so the, whatever that enemy is, the thing with the hat and a key in its stomach? Whatever that is, that thing actually does something bad to us, okay. 
Okay, let's see here. Um, I want the experience up and the Persona Magic up, I think. Because we won't get a sweet bonus anyways, so there's no point in grabbing another Persona. So we do lose a little bit of experience, but we gain a little bit of our experience back due to the fact that we got the wand. So I'll, de I'll definitely take that. So we get some magic for high pixie and some more experience. Cool, cool. And then, just like that, another dungeon, or another boss fight, or not, boss fights. Sorry, my brain's a little scattered. This is like the first episode. I took a break um, for one day, and then I haven't uh, recorded since then. So literally, this is my first, first recording back, basically. Because I wanted to take a uh, day to kind of like chill out, figure out what I want to do for this dungeon and how we should like, like actually take it on and kind of understand what we need to do in order to actually get through this dungeon like we normally do. Um, Sensei, are you all right? Um, why don't we call it a day today? I'm getting a really dizzy. Uh, how about no? Uh, oh, you've come so fiery. Does that mean you're a fan of mine? Seriously, that makes Rosetta so happy. Since you tried so hard. I wonder if he, I should do something special for you, but not here. First, you gotta prove your love just a little bit more. I'll be waiting. Hmm? Mm hmm? Sensei, I'm gonna try even harder. <laughs> okay. So we can either go left or we can go right here. I'm gonna say right leads us to the wrong direction, so let's go left instead, since usually left seems to be where you actually want to go. Oh, nope, it didn't happen to be that way. And I also see a, a regular treasure chest, but the thing is, is that we have the Reaper still sitting inside it. And actually, I found out something about that. So the Reaper isn't in the original game until you get to New Game Plus, which is kind of um, kind of cool in a way, if you think about it that way. Because, what do you call it? Wait, is that thing actually chasing me? Nope, it was just trying to run away from me and it ended up running in the wrong direction. I wonder, what happens if we actually follow him? Will he take us to where we're trying to go? Hmm, nope, but they do to leave. Okay, so if they run into a wall, they actually end up leaving. Okay, so this guy's gonna attack me no matter what I do, so let's actually get the advantage. Ooh, these guys again. Okay, so the first time we ran into these guys, or actually the fir first time since we've seen them, they were weak to ice, which I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have the same weakness again. So let's go for fire this time. Go for the opposite of what they were weak. Okay, well, fire is in their weakness, but... At least now we know. Perfect. Got another shuffle time. Oh, you can cancel that animation. Oh, hmm. I wish I knew that, actually. Okay, so we can either grab money up or we can grab deal more cards. Let's see what else we can get, actually. So let's deal a whole new um, row of cards. Three more plus no money. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Hmm. Okay, let's grab this. And then we can grab that. And then we can change the arcana of this one, and then we might get something better. Lose one earned card, of course. And we ended up losing something that was for less... Actually, which one was that, actually? Cross luck and nothing bad. Okay, we didn't lose anything out of that. That's actually really good. Huh. So we ended up being able to use that, the benefit of that, and it ended up getting something bad out of our inventory, which is actually really good. I'd like to get a regular chest so we can tell no to it, so we can leave, make the um, make the Reaper leave. I might do that real quick. I'll be right back. I'm actually going to fight this thing and open that chest, so be me. Okay, now that we got that over with, the reason why we had to do that cut there was because I wanted to get rid of the, um, the Reaper's noises, because it's going to keep rattling, and it kind of is a little bit distracting when... Because, well, one, it raises my blood, blood level because... Uh, Basically, my heart's pounding every time I hear that Reaper noise because I know, um, well, in this game, they can't leave the chests, but in um, P3, based on what I've heard, they actually chase you around just like in P5, so it kind of gives me the impression that it is going to randomly jump out of the chest and start chasing me, so one, that's the reason why I like getting rid of the Reaper right away, just because I just don't want to hear those chains rattling, because that monster is scary, and you literally can't fight it. So, yeah, you, <laughs> that's basically why I know that um, it's a good reason to be scared of the Reaper, because if you were, weren't scared of the Reaper, you probably should be in this game, because every time you fight the Reaper, he's always max level, and he has max skills, and he one-shots you, basically. So, yeah, the Reaper's scary in these games. So, just gonna mention that. But let's see here. Um, come on, hang in there. Just a little more to go. Um, I'm rooting for you. Um, what? 
We're desperately trying to save her, but she's cheering us on instead. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. Hmm, true, honestly. I don't know how to feel about it either. And also, I ended up running into a rain enemy, and I don't know. Hey, look who it is. It's literally the one I ended up running into. So, these guys are really a little bit annoying, but as you can see, they literally use attacks on everybody. So yeah, they could definitely be annoying if you're not doing what you're doing right. So let's see if we can maybe get a critical here. No, we didn't get the critical. But we can get rid of one of them, so let's do that right away. Just because we do not need them critting me. Because Gale Strike will um, do quite a bit of damage if we just let him do that. And all of the abilities that we have are actually, um, well, here, I'll show you. He's strong to everything, he nullifies lights, and we don't know about curse. But I don't even have any curse one-shot ability, so I can't really test it. So literally the only thing you can do to these guys is smack them. So yeah, definitely some dangerous enemies, and that's one of like three of them, I believe. Ooh, skill up. I'm taking that again. That's just free. Let's see here. Grab this one. Grab this for two more. But we can also deal more cards. Let's see if we get anything good. Aw, oh, no money, of course. Well, even if we get money up, we get no money. Okay, well, at least we get the skill up. So, let's see here. We got Ice Boost to Ice Amp, which means 50% more damage for Ice Moves, which is really good. And we also got the Sun Arcana, which means no money, but we already have no money. So, literally everything we just got needs... Oh, actually, the money card ended up giving us some money. Okay, cool. I'll take it. It's better than not getting anything, to be completely honest. Okay. So, ooh, free golden chest. Let's go grab that real quick, since it's literally just waiting here for us. Let's see here, we got one bead, which is basically a free um, full heal for one person. Honestly, not that bad. Honestly, could have been better, but it's, eh, whatever we can get is whatever we can get. Is it four enemies or one? It is two. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. We can either go for... I'm going to say Miragi here, since they're called Silver. And Silver more than likely can be burned. Nope. That ended up not being literal for the weakness. Okay, well, when, when it is, we just keep testing until we figure it out. And actually, we might end up killing it before it can actually do anything, so let's see if we can just attack it like normal. Yeah, we can, even though it resists it, we actually do get rid of it. Ooh. And we ended up not knocking it out, but because we got the, what do you call it, the advantage, we ended up having enough time to actually take it out, which is actually pretty good. Okay, so let's see here. I'm seeing this no items, and then change the Arcana to get rid of the half money. For a straight thumb. I'll take that. That's actually not bad. So we got the Hangman for some endurance. We get no money, or no items, but we also get the Just Earth Arcana for some strength. Not bad at all. That's actually really good for us. Well, I'll take that. That's actually really helpful. Okay. So I'm not actually sure if we're going the right direction, by the way. And actually, when we were, um, we did the cut for the Reaper, we actually ended up going in the wrong direction because both of those led to item areas instead of actually where the, where the, where the, um, the stairs were, which is actually really good we did a cut there because we saved some time running all the way back. Okay, so these are the enemies that reflected my damage. So let's see what these guys are... It's not strong, hmm. but electricity's no good. Okay, so what we can do is we can take into account that he repels electricity... But we see then he can take normal damage from physical, so we can go for that. And then these guys, I have no clue what they can be weak to. So we can't really test them yet. But the thing is, is we can't really do electricity damage to everybody until these guys are gone. So we'll just take the damage from those guys, the little tongue mouth things or whatever you want to even call them. And then figure out from there what we can do from there. I'm going to go normal attack here, just because I feel like maybe we could do something because... I'm, I'm really thinking that Mazio might be good here, because of the fact that you get Kanji in the previous dungeon, they wouldn't give you um, Kanji the dungeon before if electricity isn't going to be good in this dungeon, because fire was good in uh, Kanji's dungeon, so I ended up being right. Okay, cool. Um, here's our chance. Let's go. Okay, and with that, we all out and attack an enemy that's literally already going to go down anyways. But, you know what, it's free. I like the animation, honestly. That's the reason why I keep doing them. Another shuffle time? I really like these shuffle times, though. Whenever you get, like, a sweet bonus, they're actually really good. Okay, so let's see here. I can grab this, grab this, deal one more new card to get another sweet bonus, 
and we get a Phoenix again, even though I didn't want that. But we get a chest key, and we also get the recovery, which is really nice. And then a free Phoenix, but the thing is, is already have, or we already had the Phoenix, but I, I got rid of it for something else. So honestly, not bad. And then we also got a level for Yukiko, which means we get magic, endurance, and agility, and we get closer to fire break. But the thing is, um, those break, um, break abilities, I don't really see the point in using them. Um, I never really used them in P5, to be completely honest, and I really didn't see the point of actually getting rid of a weakness, because you can just change your characters if there's too much of a problem in a dungeon with a specific character. So, yeah, I really don't see the point in actually bringing, like, things like Fire Break and stuff like that. Okay, so let's see. We can either go left where the shadow is, or we can go right and just skip by him. And maybe run, run ourselves straight into the stairs, which ended up being the case. Cool. Into the next floor, then. <laughs> We're actually getting faster through this dungeon than we did in the original, uh, in the last time, for the last dungeon for the bathhouse for Kanji. We're actually having a much easier time with this one. How I'm so happy you came, but still I'm a little embarrassed, so I'm gonna turn off the lights. Oh no, this is actually really bad. Um, hmm? If she turned off the lights, then that means, um, Sensei, I'm about to climb the stairway to, an, uh, to adulthood. Um... Who knows, honestly, but I literally can't see in front of me, so this is actually really dangerous. Okay, so we can either go forward or we can go where the shadow is. I can't see what he- oh, it's a golden hand. Okay. I was thinking it was going to be a normal shadow, and that actually led, led us to nowhere, so... Huh, okay then. What's in this pathway? A door. Oh, you're so impatient. You can't go in yet. Hmm. I'm over here, over here, hurry. Okay, so this is where the staircase would be then. Okay, good to know. Okay, let's see if we can sneak by this golden hand without accidentally running into it, because that's not what we're trying to do here. Okay, golden hand, can you get out of your place? I'm trying to continue. There we go. Okay, now that the golden hand's not in our way, and that's a red enemy literally hiding in the darkness, which is... What the heck? There's a tank! Hello, what are you? Arcane turret. Cool. That's actually pretty cool. I saw this thing, by the way, the Liberating Idol. That thing was in the um, fight that I ended up doing to get rid of the Reaper. So, it wasn't weak to fire, so I'm guessing it might... Oh, it wasn't weak to ice. It's doing standby, and that thing's going for mind charge, which means it's increasing its next attack. Okay, that could be really bad. Let's go for Magari to see if we can get rid of the other thing, but also do some damage to the tank. Is this thing weak to um, physical moves? It dodged my physical move. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's see if we can... Ooh, it does nothing. Okay, um, I'm gonna go for medium damage here, since this is the only one I can do when it comes to medium for that Oofodyne. Oh, no. Ooh, okay, 240 damage, but it's, we have to take into account that it just doubled its damage. Okay, so it's actually not the worst thing. Okay, let's go for Garu here, since we don't actually have a way of doing any other damage there. And actually, you might be able to physically take it out. Nope, never mind. Okay, I think it attacks next, doesn't it? Nope, we attack next. Okay, cool. Okay, we just attack it normal, but Yukiko ended up getting a crit. Which is actually the first time I think I've seen her actually crit. Huh, cool. I'll take it. So, let's see here. Where would we need to go, then? Oh, there's only one place. Okay, then. This could have been much easier, then. We literally just walked right past it. Then, is what that's saying. Okay. Unless there's a turn there, but I couldn't really see in front of me, so I really couldn't tell. Oh, yep, there was a turn, but there's also a shadow here, so let's get the advantage, see what we can do here, and then go from there. Okay, so I'm going to test my theory. Um, I did say that they're more than likely not going to have the same weakness, which they don't. They actually drain ice now. Okay, because they, they were weak to um, ice magic in the original dungeon, so that's good to know that they're actually draining ice magic now. So at least I was right in a way that they wouldn't have the same weaknesses. I wonder, did we try any fire yet? Nope, we already did. Okay, so let's just go normal attack. Never mind, um, okay, I'm just gonna go Mazio here since I want to just get rid of these guys before they can attack us, and they're not weak to electricity either. Huh, that's very, very surprising. Huh, okay then. Um, honestly, I'm saying probably get the skill card here at this point, because honestly, that's the only thing I see to get. So, one free skill card, and it's for Fire Break. Of course, it's the skills that I literally said that I have no reason to use, but 
Eh, I'll take it anyways. We can still use it in a way if we need to throw something onto our units, right? We can still use it in a way. This It's not the worst case scenario. Okay. Still can't see in front of me, and I don't know where we're going. Well, based on what this looks like, we can either go left and it might head into another area, so I'm going to say maybe this way, and it does lead to another area. Cool. Okay, I was wondering if it was going to be completely like blocked off or not. Okay, and there's an enemy deep inside the inside the Okay, um the darkness and this place is actually pretty scary cuz of the fact that I can't see in front of me. Okay. Thankfully, we were able to smack it before it can get an attack on us though. So it ended up being a good thing, but definitely is scary to run into. Hmm, EXP up or or new cards. New cards could lead to getting Maybe another sweet bonus, so let's try it. Ooh, a level 4 skill card. Ooh, actually I want to try that. Grab this, change this to an Arcana, maybe we get something better. And avoid enemy encounters, that's really good for the darkness. Because now enemies won't attack us anymore. Although we lose items, we actually get the chance to not be, be attacked. And we also got a level 4 skill card for Revolution. Okay, so what Chie has got. Basically, we can give everyone currents, which isn't that bad. It's only good in certain instances, like the Golden Hands, for instance, because you can give yourself crit chance on them, and those things normally don't attack you back. So it's easier to use your crit chance on them to get the advantage, because then you can knock them on the floor, because they don't have any weaknesses based on what I've seen. And I don't think you can one-shot them with, like, Mahama or M M M Mamudo or whatever you call that. Okay, let's try this one. You can hear voices from beyond the curtain. Um, you came! Okay, I'm ready for anything. Um, are you ready, Sensei? Open the curtain and enter. Sure, let's do it. And now we're at the halfway point, for sure. Um, it's my first time. Please be gentle. I'm turning the lights on, okay? Oh, hello, random shadow. Um, well, It's a giant snake creature. I like the design of it, actually. Stagnant air. Oh, is this kind of like the big ol' um, big ol' gummy worm kind of enemy that you can get in um, some of the personas? That's actually I, that's something I've noticed. It kind of looks like it's um hmm. Let's see here. I'm gonna go Moragi. Oh, it might actually be weak to it. Okay, I'll take that. Burn it into its weaknesses, and then we can use Yukiko to actually knock it down as well. Um, should we show him who's boss? Yeah, we should. <laughs> yeah, let's use its, um, this is basically heavy, um, physical damage, so there's no reason not to do it. Okay, not bad. Okay, so let's see here. We can either go to Kaja here, Sukaja. Honestly, I don't see anything we should do, so let's just go Sonic Punch here. I'm gonna give it a quick chance. There's no, no reason to not try for it if we can get it. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna go Taru Kaja on Chie, because it increases her attack chance, or attack damage, and then we can use um, Rampage to do some big damage. So honestly, I see something there. And then we can go um, Aguileo for Yukiko to do medium uh, fire damage. And then we can cancel out the um, the actual all-out attack, because there's no reason to use it there. And then we can use um, Aguileo again for basically 300 damage. <laughs> honestly the best thing we can possibly do during that. Okay, not bad, not bad. Mind Splice, or Mind Slice. I think that gives you fear if you get hit by that. But thankfully it didn't. Okay, let's go for another Moragi, since we know that th th this thing is weak to fire, so there's no reason not to. And then we can say no to that. And I'm gonna see if maybe we can do, um, we can double down on the damage. Because it seems like it doubled the damage when they were actually down on the floor. Oh, it did! Uh, basically did the same damage though, so we could have just went for the all-out attack there if we really wanted to. Do a Sonic Punch, do a Rampage here maybe? This might actually get rid of him due to the fact that we're increased in attack. And if it hits him three times, and down goes the mid-boss fights. Cool, easy. And 1500 experience, 260 yen. And we got level 29 for Spooks here, which means we can now make level 29 Personas. And we also got a level for our King Cross, since we have the um, Growth plus 1, Luck plus 3. And we also got a Rakaja, which I believe is the Defense one. Um, based on everything we already have, I think there's no reason to have it. But it's better than this, um, this one, actually, so let's throw that there, I think instead of Sukaja, since I haven't seen the use of actually using that one. Dry is now level 29, 
and he got some strength magic and endurance, but we also got Garula, which is medium uh, wind damage, so we literally just get rid of Garu now. There we go, perfect. Now he's actually kind of matching everyone. Gale slashes now on us, which is good. Tomoe with, um, is that one agility and two luck, it looks like. Okay, not bad. It's actually pretty good. And then Gale slash, what does that actually do? Light damage to all foes. Hmm. Well, that's not that bad. But the thing is, is we already technically have that, don't we? So, let's just get rid of Gale Slash, because Rampage is just better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the Rampage is basically that, but you attack him three times. I think you have a lower chance of hitting him, though, basically. But honestly, it's just better overall. Um, what is this immense feeling of disappointment? I didn't even have a chance to choose. Have I been filled? Um, just, let's just go home now, Sensei. Okay. And there was a free item chest back here. Okay, we'll take that, and unless we get attacked, soul drop. Hmm, okay then. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. We probably should heal actually real quick due to the fact that Chie is a little bit lower in HP because we were using all those um, rampage spells and she was getting hit a bunch. So let's actually run back this way. So we already know where the stairs are due to the fact that they were keeping us from going there. And I think now that, this, that the lights are back on, we can actually make our way to the stairs. So let's actually go back this way since there's no reason to go the other way, right? So... Let's just save us some time, and let's make our way back to where we were. And now we can actually see where we're going. So there was a shadow that way, good thing we didn't go right. And then if we go this way, we're almost back to where we were. Is The thing is, is we have to run all the way back to get to where we were. It's the only problem. Which, honestly, isn't a bad thing. Unless they, like, respawn shadows. Which, in some dungeons, they have done that. With, like, Yukiko's Palace, for instance. Where, um... They had you teleporting around to the same same rooms. They had that kind of feature where the shadows would respawn to... Because if you're not doing it right and you don't notice that there's a pattern going on, it's to kind of like tell you, hey, you're doing this wrong. And that's why we keep spawning shadows on you and stuff like that. Good evening, it's me, Risei Kujikawa. Why don't I tell you all... Um, t why don't I tell all you, my, all you fans a little about myself? Um, what's this? What's she up to? Hmm, um, what should I talk about first? Um, never mind. Maybe some other time. Um, L. Lame. <laughs> lame indeed. Um, well, let's keep going. <laughs> let's see here. Now that we can actually see, we can actually not go in the wrong direction, right? So, thankfully we don't get attacked by some random shadow out in the middle of the middle of nowhere. Shadow protecting the golden chest back there. Not even worth trying to get it, since... We already know that I'm going to go back through here and make sure to get the stuff that I need, so... And also, I lose all the um, things we get by doing that as well, so there's no reason to worry about all that. Let's see here. I don't think right would lead us to where we want to go. So let's go where this golden hand is, and let's see if we can make them kind of like... Not run into us, but like force them to move from here. Oh, it actually was the right way. So, okay then. So, the, where the golden hand was, was the wrong way to go. Okay, then. That actually makes it easier, because now we can just go this way. Shadow in the way, but I can't get around him, so let's just attack him normal. Okay, let's see here. New enemies, but one looks like the, um, what do you call it, enemy? The, um, basalt enemy. I'm enraged, but I attacked and got a critical, which ends up meaning we get a second attack. Ended up getting a second crit. Okay, maybe, um, spooks here is- oh, never mind, he un- Unraged himself, and now we actually just have to t deal with these guys. This one's tough. Okay. Due to the fact that we found out the weird, like, stone baby things aren't weak to ice anymore, this thing's not going to be weak to wind, is it? So it might have a new weakness, so let's go with electricity, since that's like our strongest all-out attack. It ended up not being its weakness, but it ended up one-shotting it. <laughs> I'll take that instead, which is actually really good for us. Okay, sweet bonus, which we get our recovery, our EXP up, and our uh, free skill card. Let's see what we get. So, basically, just all that's normal. And then a recarm. Ooh, recarm's actually pretty nice. We can revive an ally with that. If we... Well, technically, we're going to lose it because we're going to be redoing this, but on my own time, and I'm going to like run through the entire dungeon on my own time, and then get all the, like, experience that we could have, um, gained if we did this normally. 
but in order to have a funner episode for you guys, I have to do it this way to kind of have it so we don't do anything wrong, basically. I'm gonna see if we can maybe crit this guy again. Ooh, these things are really weak to physical attacks, are they? Um, please allow me! Is this actually- yeah, this is the first time we've seen her version of that. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we already know what this thing's weak to, so let's just physically- oh, never mind. Okay, pick her up, um, Yosuke, thank you. Okay, and we already know that they're weak to Garula, so let's just use that. Get an all-out attack, and this, um, little fight is on and over. GG, not bad at all. Um, now's your chance. You ready? Yes, I am. <laughs> Good answer indeed, and down goes an entire wave of enemies. Actually, I haven't found a double wave yet. We haven't actually ran into, like, where they have you fight another wave after that wave. Ooh, another skill up. Ooh. That's actually just really good. Okay, let's just grab that. There's no reason not to. So we got dodge fire to evade fire. Not bad. That's tripling our um, chance of dodging fire, which is really good. Okay, I really like those skill cards. Those things are really, really good. And there's no reason not to get them. Okay, so based on here, this might actually lead to the e exits. So let's go this way and see if I'm right. Ooh, I was right. Oh, stairs to the next floor. Not bad, we're already on the 9th floor, only one more normal floor after this, and then the 11th floor literally is the boss, so we're actually almost through. Um, let's see, my work right now? Yeah, I think it's really fulfilling. I long to be an idol ever since I was a kid. Every day's so much fun. Um, it's really fulfilling for me too, since I'm with you guys, Sensei. Um, thank you, Sensei. No problem. <laughs> Teddy's super, um, wholesome, isn't he? Although he is kind of weird sometimes with, um, how he acts around um, Yukiko and Chie based on how he's acted towards the female character sometimes, and that is an arcane turret. Um, we don't we actually know what this thing's weak to, do we? Um, well, we already know that it takes li literal no damage to physical attacks, so there's no reason to even try that. So let's just go Mazianga, since that's our strongest medium attack for magic, so it's honestly going to be the best thing we can do. And then we can just do soul, like full-on medium single target um, medium damage here to kind of like take advantage of the damage increase that we get from this. So honestly, just do whatever we can to before this thing can attack on us, right? And try and not get killed. 309 damage. Ooh, fire actually does a lot more damage than I thought it would. And Yukiko is now level 30, and she got Strength, Energy, Endurance, and Luck, which also gives us Fire Break, but I'm more than likely just going to throw that away. There's no reason to keep it. And send it on off, and we can get Diorama level 33. That's not bad. That's going to be better than having DM, and we can also use the um, Divine Grace on top of it. Okay, just a random enemy in that room. No reason to go that way, so let's try and see if we can get the advantage on this guy, see what we can do from there. And that is a new enemy as well. These guys are like the um, the ice balance enemies, aren't they? So I'm going to guess they're probably nullifying electricity and wind based on the two dials that it has. So let's see here. Let's go for the sky balance first. It blocks physical attack. Oh, okay then. Um, let's go Bufla on this thing. I forgot what this thing was weak to, if we even figured it out. No, we didn't. Okay, so let's go Gargula on this thing then, and then we'll figure out what that um, Sky Balance thing is weak to. Okay, still didn't figure out that thing's weakness, even though I wanted to. But, let's try Fire on it. It honestly might work. And it ended up doing damage. Cool, perfect. 349 is not bad at all. And we got nothing in the w terms of levels, but we did make it through that fight pretty easily. And another Shadow literally right after that one. Bad timing on turning that, and there is a torture machine looking enemy. Okay then, um, let's see here. Well, it's on something that's made out of steel, so I'm gonna get some fire. I'm just gonna go based on literal weaknesses, and it, it blocks fire. Okay then. Okay, and it also did a weak attack on Chie, knocking Chie down, but thankfully it ended up going for her, in um, going for Yukiko instead. Okay, Buffalo to try and figure out what this thing's weak to. And it's weak to ice. Good to know. Um, ha! This is our chance! Yes, it is. So let's go all out attack and get rid of this thing. Okay, good to know that it's actually weak to ice. And it takes 153 from 
on attack, so it actually takes quite a bit of damage from physical attacks. Huh, I was actually not expecting that. Okay, let's get rid of this one first because you lose, um, or you gain from it if you turn it into something you need. Then the chest key is the only thing I want, so let's grab the chest key. Although we got nothing out of that, but honestly, it wasn't bad altogether, honestly. Okay, so so far so good. There's been nothing too dangerous that we've run into. Nothing like those, um, what do you call it, the red dice things that we ran into in the bathhouse that literally explode and do, like, uh, full party damage. Well, we did run into that one enemy with the, um, the Rainmaker-like enemy, but the Gale Strike isn't as scary as the actual explosion, because that explosion did basically my entire health bar, but the Gale Strike did, like, decent damage. So, honestly... I'd rather run into the um, Rainmaker, like um, the weird Rain Samurai, than run into those iron, those weird red dice again, to be completely honest. Okay, so this way leads to a shadow in, an, in a chest that's not even worth it. And this way is more than likely where we gotta go. So, honestly, ooh, hello, new enemy again. Okay, so, based on what we can tell, let's just try Mazianga, since medium damage, and we can test out its weaknesses, too. Okay, let's see if it's actually weak to physical. It's always a chance. Resist it. Okay. So let's go guardless, since we now know that it resists physical attacks, so we might as well just use um, magic ones to get rid of them. And GG. Not bad. Level 27 for Pixie, which means we got Strength plus 1, Magic plus 1, and Agility plus 1. And we also got Trafurgy, or Trafurry, which means we can actually lead battles if we need to. Um, honestly, based on this... There's no reason to grab it, so I'm just going to send it off to the to the void since I really don't need that spell. And plus, um, Yosuke got that for free, but the thing is, is the spell's not really that useful unless you run into something very dangerous. And honestly, you don't really find anything super dangerous in these dungeons, um, unless you're like coming back for like the second time around to fight the boss. But honestly, there's really nothing bad I've seen. Um, my ideal guy... Hmm, I guess someone that's kind and clean. Oh, looks like looks that don't matter that much. I actually don't really like handsome looking guys. I mean, it's what's on the inside that really counts, right? Um, I see. So, no inside. Uh, someone's insides are important. What? I'm all empty. Hmm. Yep, that means you got no chance. <laughs> no chance for you, Teddy. I'm just joking. That's not what that means. She doesn't mean literally. And it doesn't look like I can sneak by this guy. I was kind of hoping I could get, like, a free advantage there, but the game wasn't going to give it to me. Okay, so we still haven't figured out the weakness to the dice, but we can actually just still go for the weakness on the big spinning wheel guy. There's no reason not to. Then we can just physically attack this guy to get rid of him. Never mind. He was just uh, physical. I completely forgot about that. Okay, so I'm going to go move Riku again, just because we already know that... We do damage to the guy that's on that roll rack, and then it also does normal damage to those dice, because those things like to really physically, physically when it comes to physical damage, it seems like we don't really get much of a chance. Okay, arcane turrets are out of the way, so we don't have to deal with them now. And I meant to open the door, but not smack the door. And this looks like an exit. Cool. Okay, we made it to the staircase. Which means we're on the final floor, which means we're going to do a small cut here, and I'm going to go and redo the dungeon real quick, get all the levels I can get, get all the items I can get, and then from there, we'll see what we can do. So with that, I'll be right back, and I'll see you guys very, very shortly. So with that, we're going to be doing the boss fight in literally 3, 2, 1. Okay, so now that we're actually where we need to be, I actually want to show you something, because I actually found this on accident. So, I found out the fox can actually give you clothes as well, so let's pat its head, head, and you'll see it. Um, huh? The fox is holding something. Hmm. You obtained a kung fu costume. I wonder if he wants to give it to us. So, you like stuff like this, don't you, Chie? Why don't you wear it? I'm sure it'll look good on you. Hmm. Well, do you? Um, oh, sure. It's not what I usually wear, but... Hey, this is actually pretty cool, huh? Um, they don't sell these, and I never had the chance to wear something like this. I've always wanted to try it. Um, thanks, Foxy. <laughs> the fox seems to be happy about it. Um, hey, what about me? Um, you have anything for me? Hmm, nothing? Ah. <laughs> Looks like you're not getting anything for free, Teddy. So I'm actually going to show you it real quick. 
So based on here, if we go to Chie, we can actually throw on this new costume. We can actually use it in fights. And you can also use the gag, um, ga uh, gag goggles if you wanted to on your characters as well, which is pretty cool. So I'm actually going to throw on this Kung Fu costume just to try it out since we have it. And also, um, just to prove that you can get some really good weapons in these dungeons, this was something I actually picked up. 140 attack and it has a 60% chance of hitting, but honestly, 140 attack is not bad. Honestly, I'll take that over anything else. And then if we're wondering about my persona I'm using, the one that we have now. So I ended up tur turning my High Pixie into this and then rebought the High Pixie. And it's actually pretty good. It's got 34 magic and it's also got a lot of like good things and it's also got double invigorate. So that means we get 8 SP back per battle, which is really good. Or turn in battle, but if you one turn a battle, you basically get 8. So honestly, not bad whatsoever. So let's tell Teddy we're going back in. And due to the fact that we used a Goho M to leave the dungeon, you can actually go back to where you were, which is really nice. So go back to the level 11, and we're back where we were. So with that, let's actually do this. Um, I think that girl named Rise is ahead of here. Um, but I'm not certain. Rise, or raise this curtain and enter. Sure, let's do it. And here we go, we're finally at the boss. So, one thing about this is, um, I've noticed that, um, for some reason, I don't know if it's the mod or the game, but the game has a tendency to, um, freeze sometimes, and I'm gonna hope we don't freeze. So you'll know if I definitely freeze if something happens. Um, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Um, look, the real one's here too. Yep, it is. So let's see what we can do. <laughs> They're all watching now. All eyes on me now. Yep. Um, stop it. Huh? what's the matter? You want to show your stuff, don't ya? How is this? Oh, please, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she wants me to stop. That's so funny. As if that's even close to what you're really thinking, you little... Jeez. Um, you're me and, I, and obviously I'm you. Um, no, that's not true. Well, it is. <laughs> Come look. You can't tear your, uh, tear your eyes away. This is me. This is who I really am. Not Rosette. This fake celebrity. Look at the girl right in front of you. I'm sick of being some airhead cliché who chokes down everything she's fed and takes it all with a smile. Risene, who the hell is she? There's no such person in this world. I'm no one but myself. Come look at me. <laughs> okay then. Very strange interaction here, but honestly... Um, I don't know what to say. Um, that's not I. Uh-oh, this is real bad. This thing's gonna start freaking out in a second. Um, well then. I guess it's time to prove it. I'm gonna show it all off. Let my naked truth be burned into your brains. Please, don't. Um, stop it, stop it. You're- Uh-oh, here it comes. Um, no, don't say it. <laughs> yeah, please don't. You're not me. Well, there we go. The shadow is about to get really angry. <laughs> here it comes. Now I'm finally myself. And here we go. Now we get to know what Shadow Rosetta is really like. And that is a very strange looking boss. Oh, the reason why I'm saying it's strange is because of the actual like color patterns of it. Not the actual implication of what it is, because I already knew what the implication was beforehand, but it's... Okay then. I actually really like the color patterns though. Uh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go indeed. Finally taking on Rosetta. Okay, well... <laughs> what was that noise? I am a shadow of the true self. And now the moment you've been waiting for, it's time for me to show you every last inch of myself. Hehe, <laughs> and for our guest in the front row, I'll give you an extra special, extra intense service. Uh, looks like she had issues of her own after all. But we'll stop here, stop her from going berserk. Oh, you're still going to rush the stage. What an ill-mannered guest. Maybe you're looking for a, a more exper looking for an experience that's a little more intense. Yeah, if you i I'm pretty sure she means by battle, but the other experience is very uh suggestive, let's be honest. Okay, so we don't actually know what this thing's weak to, so Honestly the best thing I can do here is just go medium fire damage here. So let's just go for that and see what we can do. Okay, not bad. 195 damage is not bad to do. 
And then we can go for... Hmm, no reason to go to Kaja. No reason to go to Kaja, so let's just do magic, uh, medium magic, I or wind damage. Just see what we do. 165. Ooh, the Kung Fu costume's actually pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go Taru Kaja for Chie to increase her attack stat. I would like to get the variation where you increase everyone's attack, but we don't have that yet, so we really can't do anything about that. I don't know what this thing could be weak to, so let's go Aguileo and see what we can do here. And 224 damage isn't bad. Fire break, so she's gonna try and get rid of one of our weaknesses. But honestly, that's not really that bad for us, because I don't even think um, fire is really that much of a dangerous thing here. Well, actually, I think we resisted fire, to be completely honest, to beforehand, but honestly, we're doing pretty good here. We're doing some decent damage to her, and she's actually not doing too much to us yet. I think she'll start getting more and more dangerous the further her HP is, because that's what happened with um, Shadow and Kanji. Uh, we only attacked her once there. That could have been much better, actually. I'm going to go for another Aguileo here. Just do as much damage as we possibly can in one turn. <laughs> Enjoying yourself? I got a ways to go until I show you my true self. You ain't seen nothing yet. Mind Slice. Okay, this one's the fear one, right? Ooh, Encounter Knit. Ooh, that's actually really good. Okay, so... Let's see here. Go for another Aguileo. Since we don't know a weakness here. And sometimes these bosses don't have weaknesses. So I'm going to say that this thing doesn't have a weakness. So we can just go for whatever we want. And then some bosses um, will have more than likely in the future have um, things that they actually drain. Ooh, that was really good. That was like 600 damage in one attack. That's actually really good. Aguileo uh, for another medium fire damage. Do as much as we can to her. Supreme Insights. And that was really weird. But she's now analyzing our attacks. What is that supposed to mean? Okay then, we've been fully analyzed. Um, full squad. No touching allowed. <laughs> Oh, I think I know what that means. That means we more than likely can't attack her, let's see. Nope, okay, so it's just like the fog from earlier in the first episode. So let's just guard for now, and then we'll figure out from there if she cancels it out after a couple turns or something. So just, just in case, let's be careful, because there could be something majorly dangerous if we let her attack us here. So let's just guard for our life. Basically, our life depends on guarding at this point. And then maybe once the analysis goes away, we can actually attack normally again. Okay, so far so good. Just keep blocking like normal. Don't let her do anything she wants to do. Because we can't really do anything at the moment, can we? So let's just do what we can and just guard as much as we can. <laughs> I can see everything about you. <laughs> and it looks like, yeah, we couldn't do anything there. So that was actually a a timed event then. Okay, good thing I started guarding there, because we literally couldn't attack her then. Um, what's the deal? Are your attacks aren't making any dents. Um, damn. It looks like it's anticipating our every move. Um, I am completely useless. No, I highly doubt that, Teddy. You've actually been pretty useful. Um, what the? Um, that power. I think it's scanning us. Oh, this is not good. Uh, what do you say not good? What exactly does that mean? It means we literally can't attack it. Woohoo! Analysis complete! Okay, here comes my counterattack. See if you can dodge, hmm? Uh-oh. Um, stop it. And that looks like her. Whatever she just did, yeah, that did like basically full team wipe. Whatever she just tried to do to us. Um, you gotta be kidding. Um, how are we supposed to win? Um, how are we gonna die? Um, no, you guys can't die. Um, what can I do, Sensei? Um, help us. Yeah, do whatever you can. Uh, but how can I help? Um, am I going to be all alone again? No, that's not what I want. Well, you gotta do something, Teddy, because we can't fight him. Um, oh, shit. It's winding up again. Um, I, I... You gotta do something, bud. Okie dokie, here we go again. Goodbye forever. Oh, shit, it's coming. Uh-oh. Well, Teddy's gotta do something now if we want to survive. Um, my body's moving on its own. Why am I stepping forward? Um, whoa, whoa, um, I feel like I'm gonna be bear berserk. Um, grr, I'll do it. Uh, take a good look at Teddy's last stand. Oh, Teddy's actually gonna fight it off. Um, this high level and high energy reading is it coming from that weird thing. Uh, Teddy, how are you doing? Um, roar. 
Uh, Teddy. Oh, he's actually gonna run into it. I wonder if he can actually fight now. Maybe. You never know. That was kind of cool, though, to see him actually, like, help us out and fight. Oh, he actually took down the shadow. Oh, but Teddy's literally a burnt pancake now. Oh, uh, Teddy. Oh, uh, you did it. You could have died. Um, uh, did I? Did I help? Yeah, you did. Uh, you didn't just help. You saved our lives. Um, uh, neat. I'm so glad. I didn't want to be alone anymore. <laughs> um, Teddy. <clears throat> um, what in the world? Uh, what in the world? No, my fine silky spur. I was so proud of it. Wah. <laughs> Uh, looks like he's gonna be just fine to me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. But he's literally a burnt pancake. <laughs> um, Reese Chan, where am I? Uh, you're in the Midnight Channel, but you don't know that yet. Um, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. Um, you can you can let go now. No harm done. It's not your fault. Yeah, it's not your fault. Um, no, it's still something that I did. No, you're fine. You didn't do anything. You literally had no choice here. You literally got thrown in here. There's no nothing you could have done. Um, here, stand up. Hmm? What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, is she actually gonna uh, apologize to it without us even telling her not to or to do so? Um, I'm sorry. You must have been in a lot of pain up till now. You're part of me, but I kept refusing to admit who existed. I was trying to figure out who the real me was. But I realize now that I was on the wrong track. There is no real me. It just doesn't exist. Um, there is no real me. Um, you, me, even Rosetti. They will all, were they were all born, born from me. All of them are me. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. So she has multiple truths to herself. The strength of heart acquired to face oneself has been made and manifest. Was her? Ooh, that's cool looking, huh? Wonder what that is. What kind of type could that be? Well, she has a persona now, so she's definitely going to be able to be in fights. Risei has faced her other self. She has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona? Himiko. Hmm. Okay, then. It looks pretty cool, though. Um, Risei-chan. Um, careful. Um, I'm alright. Hey, you're the one who came to the store, right? Oh, yeah. These guys came with me. <laughs> yep. Hello. You briefly introduced ourselves. Um, I thought I recognized you guys. Thanks, everyone. No problem. Um, we'll explain everything later. Wait, for right now. Yeah, where do we go now? Um, what's wrong, Chie? Yeah, what's wrong? Um, there's no real me. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Uh, hey, Teddy. Um, no, get back. Hmm? Something's coming out of him. Um, real me. <laughs> Such foolishness. Oh, what the heck? Wait, we're actually running into a shadow version of Teddy. That's weird. Um, what is that thing? Um, don't tell me. Is that the other Teddy? Teddy's hidden thoughts. Um, I believe so, but it seems like there's more. I felt some powerful presence intervene. Hmm? Um, what's going on? Uh, turn around, buddy. You big old flat pancake. Um, whoa! I wonder if that thing has the same voice as him. I actually should check. Truth is unattainable. What is that voice? Okay, I'll remember that. It will always be shrouded in fog. Though you reach through the murk and the gloom to grasp something, you have no means to know it is the truth. In which case, why? What sense is there in yearning for the truth? Close your eyes, lie to yourself, live in blissful ignorance. It is a much smarter way to exist. Um, what are you talking about? I don't understand a word you're saying. Um, you're just making it sound difficult, because I'm not that smart. Um, how rude. Maybe you can't tell, but I'm thinking as hard as I can. Hmm. It is those efforts that I am calling useless. You are hollow, empty. At your core, you know this. You just cannot accept it. So you seek an alternate form, a denial of your nature. You have no lost memories. If you have forgotten anything, it is the truth. Um, that's a lie. Hmm. 
Okay, then. So why is this... So... If we get a shadow version of something in a party, usually something happens after you fight the shadow. Do we actually get to fight his shadow? Or is it just showing this to kind of like get us to think that there's going to be something that we need to do for Teddy to kind of like face himself, basically? That's kind of what I'm understanding. I think we're actually about to fight this thing, but that would mean we would fight two bosses back to back, which is kind of scary. Um, shall I spell it out for you? You are but a mere... Um, I said shut up. Oh, <laughs> well, you just bounced right off him. Oh, Teddy! Hmm, it is a shame for you all. You undergo suffering because you'll search for the truth. This world is filled with thick, heavy fog. You can f How can you find something would you know? Not what you search for. Um, the truth has to exist. There's a way to find it. What do you mean? Hmm, there's a way to find it. And thus you invite more suffering upon your sins. It is beyond my comprehension. Then I will grant you one truth. You will all die here. You sought the truth only to find death. <laughs> if you try, you try. But I highly doubt you're going to be able to fight us. Um, damn it. How are we supposed to find something like this without Teddy? It's alright. Get ready, everyone. Hmm? What do you mean? Um, hey, don't tell me you're fighting with us. You can't take it. I'm okay. I should be able to take that bear's place. Hmm? What do you mean? It's my turn to save you all. Oh, you're gonna take what was Teddy's um job? Huh. So that's what she is. So she's a support ally. Kinda like, um, what do you call it? Um, Futaba. Okay. So what Teddy was before, but Teddy wasn't as good at doing that. So we're gonna have like Grise and Teddy basically teaming up from now on. Unless Teddy's gone for good after this. But honestly, I have no clue. I am a shadow of the true self. I shall give you the truth you claimed all so dear. In the ex inescapable fact of your death here. Um, was that creepy thing really inside of a Teddy? Um, I guess he was a lot more troubled than he looked. Um, we have to save him. Foolish beings accept your end with dignity and grace. Huh. Okay, so I'm definitely pretty sure this thing's not going to be able to cancel our attacks, like the last fight. So, let's just try and see if we can find out his weakness, because that's going to be the easiest way to kind of fight him. Okay, it looks like he doesn't have much um, HP, so we have an easy chance of fighting him. So let's just try and figure out his weakness then, if he even has one. Usually the bosses don't have them, so we can throw stuff at it, but that is the wrong character to throw that on. But, you know what, that actually might end up being a good thing in the end because we'll do extra damage with Aguileo, so we can see how much the extra damage. Ooh, 259 is not bad. Foolish Whisper. Okay, it missed completely. I think that's, um, fear, I think. I could be wrong, though. Um, go for another Aguileo, since we still don't have a weakness for it, and it looks like it doesn't have one, so we're just going to try and do damage and see what we can do from there, because there's no reason not to try and fight him. So let's see here. I was meaning to use Tarakaja on Chie, though. Oh, you can double stack um, Tarakaja. Okay, so that is a thing in this game. Good to know, actually. Okay, so if we can get, like, um, double, um, the, like, the full party version of that, that actually would be really good, because then we can start stacking attack bonuses. That's actually pretty good. Okay, then. Let's go for another Aguileo, since we already know this does, like, 300 damage. Might as well go for it. Another Foolish Whisper. Let's see if we can figure out... Oh, it's Silence. Oh, of course it was Silence. Um, do I have any way of getting rid of that? I don't think I do. Um, I don't think I even have any Partra anymore, so... I can't go for that. But we can go for an item here. And see if we can maybe go, like, um, uh, Amarita Soda or something. Let's go hire on Ranya's, because this is actually really good. So we'll give her back her thing back there, and then... Let's see here. What does Tetrafu do? Makes all enemies panic. Um, I don't think we could use out a boss, so there's no point in trying that. We'll just go for another Gargula and see what we can do from here. Honestly, whatever we can do is honestly the best thing we can do, honestly. And now that we're not no longer silenced, we can actually go for the Rampage here. Which was one I was meaning to do in the first place. Uh, of course it missed, though. And since we're silenced, we can't use our Persona. <laughs> Stop this futile struggling. Even if you exist, it will all come to naught. Ultra Charge. 
Uh oh, so that means it's probably going to be a bigger version of the charge um, that we normally fight against. Um, what? I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, well, let's definitely guard then. There's no reason not to, right? Because if we take this full attack here, this is going to be really, really bad. So let's just guard it and see what happens. Shadow Teddy is charging up. Um, it's going to attack. Get ready. Oh, it does it two turns. Okay, I wish I knew that. Okay, so now we know for sure that it does. So you get an extra turn to attack before it actually goes full, full him. Nahil guard charge. Oh, we fully blocked it. It did no damage to us. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go for another Aguileo, since there's no reason to just wait here and let it just do whatever it wants. I'm gonna see what, how much damage we do with normal. It missed completely. Okay, normal damage seems to miss. Okay, let's just go Rampage again. Since it looks like trying to do a stat boost here is not going to help us in the long run. Okay, not bad, not bad. Really, the only thing we can really do here is just physically attack or just go Anki Leos. So, let's just keep hitting it. This actually has a lot of HP, Marokunda. That means less defense. Uh-oh, that could be bad, actually. Okay. Based on what I can see here, just keep going for Anki Leo. Since... As we see, there's no weaknesses here, so there's nothing we really can do there. I can try and go for, like, a critical with Sonic Punch, baby. That would actually help us. 110, not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna go for another Rampage, since this actually does some decent damage. As long as it hits three times, it actually is worth the time to do it. Okay. I want to see how much damage we do physically. 82, that's not bad. <sighs> what? How can you summon your strength from such a futile endeavor? Newt Nullity Guidance. The per oh, okay, that makes people dizzy. And now he's going for an extra charge. Okay, we already know we get one turn extra, so we get to attack him for free here. Um, we can't silence him, so we can't do that, but we can still attack him. There's no reason not to just attack him. Okay, at least halfway in. Um, if we can crit him, maybe we can, like, force his, um, his charge to hit him himself. That'd be kind of cool, but I highly doubt it. Um, let's see here. I could go Revolution, but I don't want him getting a free crate here, because it wouldn't help us. And then going for Tarakuja wouldn't be fun, um, wouldn't be smart, so just go Rampage, actually, to be honest. There's no reason to go any other spell here, because Rampage does up to, like, almost, like, 200 damage, if we actually hit all, all of it, that is. But, honestly, we still get some pretty decent damage out of everything we've done. Okay, now he's charging up, means we're actually ready to guard now. Because if we attack again, we're actually going to get hit by whatever that is. And I don't want to find out how much damage that does. Okay, here he comes. Okay, blocked. Good. No damage. Okay, he's halfway done. He's basically done for the count. I was kind of hoping Rise would kind of help us out a little bit more in the fights. But all she really told us was to start um, guarding when it started charging up. Even though we kind of figured that out on our own. But maybe once we actually get further and further with her, maybe she'll actually be able to do more like Futama can. So maybe once we start like boosting up her um, skill, her social link, we'll actually get stuff out of it maybe. Like be able to... Maybe Kanji can get full experience in battle now, or whoever's in the background can get like full experience like the party is right now, and stuff like that. So you never know, honestly. Or maybe you can swap people during battle or something like that. That would be kind of cool. Why do you still resist? Even sh you should, even should you win, not but suffering awaits. Mute. Nola D guidance again, and that's the dizzy one, which honestly isn't that scary. But he's going for it twice, which could be bad. Now he's going for ultra charge again. Wow, he could just ultra charge right after doing an ultra charge. Huh? Maybe we can get. Okay? Some, we lost. Um, we lost our turns though. Okay, we still get our turns to attack, though, so let's still go for our Rampage. Oh, um, we should probably heal Chie. We've used so much HP using Rampage that we actually need to heal Chie now. So let's do that before we forget. And hopefully, um, Yosuke gets back up in a second. Because we kind of need to have him... Okay, thankfully he got back up. Cool. Okay, that could have been really bad. Let's guard up, just in case, since we already know that this could be really bad damage. But it's... I'm thinking since we're guarding, we don't take any, so that's why we're not taking any massive damage here. Okay, another Hockey Leo. Just do as much as we can. I wish I had my um, ability to get rid of um, 
defense, but I don't have that anymore, so I can't really do anything like that anymore. But that would be really nice for boss fights like this, because what we did with the last one is we did um, increased damage for Chie, and then we used the um, the defense uh, dropper to basically do like tons of damage on the bosses. But we don't have that anymore, so I can't take advantage of it. And it's mostly because I kind of forgot to do it. Mind charge. Oh, now he's doing a mini variant of that. Okay, so just to take advantage of him, since now he's trying to concentrate, he actually won't be able to use this if we take him out here. So let's go for another so Sonic Punch. I don't even think you can crit the bosses, because we've hit him multiple times with that and he hasn't done anything. Okay, go for another Rampage. Hopefully he doesn't get his Concentrate hit. And down goes Shadow Teddy. And that means two bosses for the price of one. GG. 2,000 experience and 10,000 yen. And you call a search in battle, which means we are now level 34. Not bad. And level 34 Jiraiya, which is really nice. And we also get a spell out of this. So strength, energy, or endurance, and agility plus one. And we also got power slash. What is that? I actually don't know what that is. Deals medium physical damage to one thumb. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Hmm. Honestly... The Sonic Punch is good, but I feel like I can do more with um, with an increased medium for physical. I think I can do much more damage, so let's get rid of Sonic Punch for that. Okay, level 34 for Tomoe, but no ex no level or no special ability. But we got plus one strength, plus one magic, and plus one in endurance based on what I can see. Yep, perfect. And it looks like we get auto Tarakaja suit, which is going to be really good. Because then she'll be able to auto automatically give herself attack damage, which would be really nice in fights. Um, was that part of you, Teddy? Um, even Teddy had a hidden self. Hmm, and it's still here, too. Um, I don't know who I am. Hmm. I thought a number of times that maybe there is no answer. But I'm here. I live here. Hmm. You're not alone. Yeah, you're not alone, Teddy. We're here with you. And I don't have to do this all on my own. Yep, you don't. Um, dude, we'll help you figure it out. Um, I'm sure we'll find out about you as soon as we continue investigating this world. True, true. That's the whole point of this. One, to find out who Teddy is, because we promised him to help him out with um, the people dropping in this world, and that means we're going to be having to explore this world, so we'd more than likely find out his real existence and why he's here even in the first place. And honestly, I don't mind helping out Teddy. Teddy's pretty cool from what I've seen. He's only had a couple weird interactions every now and again, but honestly, he's pretty funny. Um, you guys, I ain't one lucky bear. Wah. <laughs> How are you feeling? Um, is that... Um, a persona? Hmm? The courage of heart to support one's friends has been made manifest. Okay, so he does get a persona. Hmm, kind of cool looking. He's holding a giant missile. <laughs> That's actually a pretty cool persona. I wonder what his can do. So, we know Reese's is now support. So what would Teddy's be if we have a support user? Do we get double support? Or would he end up becoming a fighter now? Teddy has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona? Kentoki Doji. Hmm. Okay then. He's a pretty cool looking one. Um, is this my persona? It seems like it. Um, I get some strong power from it. It's awesome, Teddy. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool actually. Whoa, well, are you alright? Oh yeah, your persona just awakened too. I'm so sorry. You must be worn out. Um, yeah, let's hurry outside. Yeah, let's get on out of here before we start getting attacked by more shadows. And with that, we're pretty much done with this episode since the dungeon's basically over at this point. Um, are you feeling okay, Racy chan Um, we're almost outside. Yep, we're almost out. I'm alright. I'm more worried about Teddy. <laughs> yeah, he is still Burton Pancake. Um, you okay there? We gotta go back for now. Um, I wanna be alone for a while. Hmm, really? Um, hey. Um, uh, my beautiful fur is all rough and coarse. And my nose hasn't been working too well either. Hmm, wait, your nose doesn't work anymore? Um, so, while I wait for my fur to grow back, I'm gonna train hard. Um, nobody can stop moi. Um, here it goes, huh. <laughs> uh, we need to get him an air pump to air pump him back to normal size. Uh, what's gone into ya? Um, don't talk to me, please. One more set. Yeah, yeah. Another one. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you little joker. Uh, leave the dude be. Comes a time when a man's gotta stand on his own two feet. True, I guess. Um, I'm not sure this is really one of those times. Well then, Chie and I will take Risei Chan back home. Okay. Um, yeah, she'll need a lot of rest. We can talk after she regains her strength. True. Uh, um, well, um, good luck, Teddy. Uh, just kick back and wait for my wonderful camp back. Um, peace out. Um, I'll see you later. Yeah, we'll definitely come see you again, bud. <laughs> and with that, let's get on out of the Midnight Channel. Oh, it looks like we might actually talk to Teddy a little bit more. Um, I said this before, but I can sense something special about you, Sensei. There must be something that only I can do. That's how I feel when I, I'm with you, Sensei. That's why I'm gonna get stronger. To find my special thing. Roar. <laughs> uh, see you later, te later, Teddy. Teddy is looking at you with fire in his eyes. Oh, does that mean rank 2 in a special link? It does. Okay, I'll take it. So maybe we'll get something for his persona now. Because he now has it. The Teddy social link has reached level 2. Your power to create personas of the star arcana has grown as well. Nothing special, though. Um, here it goes. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> you should leave him be. In any event, you were able to rescue Risei safely. Now you can, you must wait for her to recover. The mystery deepens. Will she be able to provide new insight into this case? Hmm, maybe. You never know. But with that, the lounge has now been closed. And that's the achievement I just got. So with that, we'll end off the evening section and then we'll end this episode off. Um, he's back. Yep, he is. Oh, nope, it's Adachi. Uh, whoa there. Careful now, Dojima-san. Oh, 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 damn it. Who built a step here? Uh, oh, he's drunk. Um, that would be the carpenter, sir. Come on, don't take your anger out on the house. Um, that won't solve anything. Uh, that's probably not the best thing to start drinking and have Nanako here, bud. You really don't need to be doing that. Oh, oh I'm home. Nanako, I'm back. Um, welcome back. Um, oh, hi, Nanako-chan. Uh, sorry, but could you get this futon ready? Hmm, okay. Well, Dojima is about to pass out. And for good reasons, too. Wonder why he got drunk. Was there a real reason for him to actually get, go out and get drunk, or did he accidentally get get drunk? Um, phew. I think he had a little too much to drink. <laughs> uh, oh, well, look, what am I supposed to do with this crap? Three and fancy talking, kid. I've been in this line of work since you were all learn learning... Your timetables. Huh? <laughs> He's saying that to Dachi. Um, the prefectural police sent in special investigational support. Because, you know, we haven't really made any progress in serial murders since they started in April. <laughs> um, so the special support is supposedly a hotshot detective from a well-known private agency. But you should have seen the look on my face when I met him. He's only a kid your age. I hear he's pretty sharp cookie, though. Hmm. Oh, um, oh. He's a brat like any other. Ain't nothing he can do to help. Look, he goes on and on about deductions and deductions. <laughs> These are always the perfectual, uh, ought to be more careful about giving us brats to babysit. Condes condescending bastards, look. <laughs> um, the kid said as long as he can be an assistant, um, in solving a different and difficult case, he won't require a reward. Well, you can imagine the shrine the hired the shiny higher-ups took on him after that, so we can't exactly turn him down. Uh, Adachi. Oh, uh, god, sorry. Me and my big mouth. Uh, you run your jaw like this all the strong come kind of joke. It's your fault to begin with for jumping the gun and hauling in a peeping tom. <laughs> so I was right. It wasn't even a... I knew it couldn't be the murderer. I just didn't think it would be someone that we haven't met yet. I feel like it's someone that we've met... And, or someone with an actual, like, picture. Like, if it's someone without a picture, it wouldn't make any sense. So I didn't think it would be him. I just thought he was some, like, person, like, basically stalking out celebrities and taking pictures of them. And I ended up being right, which is good. But that means we have, still haven't found the killer, though. That's also kind of bad. Um, oh, ha <laughs> um. <laughs> True, you did find the wrong person. Um, and you. Hmm? What about me? Wait. You can take a share of the blame, too. Always wander around crime scenes whenever something happens. You were scolded by Dojima. Please, Nanako, save me. Um, his futon's ready. Um, alright, Dojima-san. Up and at him. Nanako-chan, kid, got your futon all ready for ya. <laughs> yeah, you need a slate, bud. 
<laughs> yeah, he's too drunk to help out. Alright, well, see you later, Dojima. Hopefully you're back to normal soon, because you're definitely going to have a bad headache when you wake up. Um, sure does stink like sake in here. How do you know what sake smells like? Okay then. Well, with that, I think we are done as long as the game gives me a save, which we are. Okay, cool. So with that, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. In the next episode, we will be continuing off our story, and I think we'll be getting into our free time days now. So with that, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.